Hey guys, Victoria here and welcome back to my channel and today we are going to be doing a little bit of biology from 5 revision and we'll start with chapter 1 first and we'll start with this question right here that you can see here and let's look at this question now so the question reads the graph in diagram 1 shows the effect of light intensity on the rate of transpiration from 12 midnight to 12 midnight the next day a when is the light intensity the highest so to answer this question you will just have to refer to the graph this is the graph of light intensity and it is the highest at this point so you just draw down you can see that it is the highest at 12 noon so that will be your answer 12 noon and next one is the size of the stoma pore the biggest so the size of the stoma pore is actually the highest when the light intensity is the biggest because when there is a high amount of light intensity the photosynthesis rate actually increases so the stoma pore will be bigger as well the gut cells will be more turgid at this time and so everything is sort of interrelated when there is high when there is high light intensity the photosynthesis rate increases and along with that the stoma will be bigger and the gut cells will be more turgid as well Alright, so to answer this question, it will be at 12 noon. It'll be at 12 noon because the rate of photosynthesis is highest at this time and the gut cells are the most turgid. And let's move on to see when is the rate of transpiration the highest. So the answer is in the afternoon as well because it is all interrelated. When the light intensity increases, the photosynthesis rate increases. The stoma pore becomes bigger. So when the stoma pore becomes bigger, the photosynthetic rate increases and the transpiration rate increases as well. Because light intensity actually affects the transpiration rate also. So when there is higher light intensity, the transpiration increases also. So when is the rate of the transpiration the highest the answer would be in the afternoon what is the relationship between light intensity and the rate of transpiration as i've said just now when the light intensity is higher the rate of transpiration is higher as well so when the light intensity increases the rate of transpiration also increases State three other factors that affect the rate of transpiration. Okay, so how do you remember the factors that affect the rate of transpiration? Start by writing the word transpiration. And use the first three letters of this word. T-R-A. Your answer is right here. So from here you can see that we have temperature. R is relative humidity and A is air movement. So this way you'll never forget the factors affecting the rate of transpiration. 
Number one, we have temperature. Number two, you have relative humidity. And number three, you have air movement. Okay, so this is your answer for E. And then F, describe briefly how the factors stated in E affect the rate of transpiration. So you have to state it down one by one. First, we'll look at temperature. So when the temperature increases, the rate of transpiration also increases because this has to do with the light intensity as well. When the temperature increases, the light intensity increases and so the rate of transpiration increases as well. So for temperature, when the temperature increases, the rate of transpiration increases as well. And then next we'll see air movement. When the air movement increases, the rate of transpiration also increases. And lastly, relative humidity. So this is the only thing that is higher, lower. So be sure to take note of this. When it comes to relative humidity, when the relative humidity increases, the rate of transpiration actually decreases. And this is something different from the rest of the answers. When there is relative humidity, meaning there is more water vapor in the environment, less water vapor will escape from the leaves. Because transpiration is just water vapors escaping from the leaves. We have leaves here. Okay, and then it's like just water vapor escaping from the leaf. But when there are already a lot of water vapor in the environment, there will be less water vapor escaping from the leaf. So that is why when the relative humidity increases, the rate of transpiration actually decreases.